there's many different ways for finding profitable niches to publish in and one of my favorite ways is through Creative Fabrica. So all you have to do is go to creativefabrica.com and then just over here where it says graphics just under this tab what you want to do is you want to locate KDP interiors so you can see here that it's just over here so you just want to click on it and once that's loaded you'll find that there's literally thousands of different interiors here and these interiors themselves are niches and you can see here that if I scroll down there's thousands of these interiors and niches so just looking at some of them you can see that there's letter tracing books they can publish in you can see that there's this niche over here so cute stuff so this is something new I haven't come across this niche before and you can see here that there's cute animals and you know vintage niches as well and I've spoken about vintage niches in a previous video and just over here so you can see that there's something called sugar skulls adults coloring book so you can see that there's literally thousands of different niches that you can publish in and if I just go over here let's say you want to publish a specific type of book so all you have to do is just type that in so I'm just going to type in logbook because uh, these are my favorite types of books I like to publish so I'm just going to search for it and you can see that once again there's a lot of results and uh, you can go through them one by one to decide on which niches you want to pursue so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a list of some niches that I want to potentially publish in so I'm just going to do that so the first one is wedding budget logbook so I'm just going to type that in over here in this spreadsheet and then the next one so I'm just going to grab a few that grab my attention so medication logbook I'm just going to type that in and then the next one so uh, there's no tree but I've come across this niche before and you know I don't fancy publishing in it and over here let me just see so caregiver logbook I'm just gonna jot this down as well so this is what you want to do you want to you know if you're going to use this method or any method of niche research you want to create a list first and then go through them one by one to see if it's worth publishing in the niches what you don't want to do is just you know find one niche and then dig into it straight away you want to make a list first and that way it makes the process of niche research easier so i'm just going to find a couple more so gastric sleeve logbook And then uh, let me just see lawn care I've already created lawn care logbooks before and over here let me just see some that aren't so popular of course you can publish books like password logbooks but usually they're extremely popular and saturated so you know I like to ignore these kinds of books nowadays so let me just scroll down to see if I can find a couple more so bill pay checklist logbook this seems quite interesting so I'm just going to jot this down as well so I'm just going to jot down bill logbook so just over here I'm just going to jot it down and what you want to do is in this way you want to you know make a list of 10 20 or 30 niches and what you want to do then is go through each of them one by one to check their BSR because what you want is for the BSR to be low. You don't want to publish books that have BSR of, you know, 700,000, 800,000 or even worse in the millions. You want to create books that are worth publishing and that have a market for it. So what I'm going to do here is just copy this and just search for it on Amazon. So wedding budget logbook. And you can see here that just ignoring some of these sponsored ones, uh, these ones here. You know, looking at the BSR, it seems like it's too high. You can see that the BSR is in the millions. And I'm just going to scroll down to see if there's at least one or two that do have a low BSR. And looking at these, you can see that they just don't. So it won't be worth publishing in this particular niche. So what you might want to do is just cancel it. So I'm just going to do a strike through on it. And the next niche is medication logbook. So I'm just going to type that in. And just looking at the books, you can see that some of the books, they have good BSR, like this one here, 88,000. And then just under 300,000 for this one, 45,000, etc. So this is definitely a niche that may be worth publishing in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to highlight this in green. 
so this means that it's a niche that's worth publishing in and also I'm just gonna jot down the average BSR so I'd say the average BSR is around 100k so that's exactly what I'm gonna type over here so 100k and then the next niche I'm just gonna search for it so caregiver logbook So once again, looking at the the first thing I'm looking at is the review counts. So the review counts tell me that the BSR is going to be low anyway. But you can see that the BSR has just loaded now. And you can see that, you know, the BSR is quite low. So 59,000 over here and then 134,000, 364,000, etc. So once again, this is definitely a niche that's worth publishing in. So once again, I'm going to rate this niche green. And then I'm just going to jot down the average BSR of the niche which is around I'd say you know between 100 and 150,000 200,000 so I'm just going to write over here 150k so when doing niche research for you know logbooks and journals etc I try to ensure that you know the average BSR is at least 300,000 or less and if it's more than that then I usually decide against publishing the books so once you've created a list and you know when you do your own research what you want to do is create a longer list and of course jot down the BSR and color code it as well and once you've done that what you want to do is go through your niche validation criteria so I have a niche validation criteria that I use for my books and you can see here that it's these four criteria so I'm just going to highlight them over here so what I like to do is before deciding on publishing in a niche, I like to go through these four criterias and you can see here that the answer to question number one and two should be no and question number three and four should be yes. So these are niche validation criterias that I go through and I'm not going to go through them in this video because I've already gone through them in another video and if you want to watch that video you should see a card on your screen right now feel free to check out that video if you want to or you can check it out at the end and once you've done that and you've validated the niches and it meets all these four criteria, then go ahead and publish in the niche and the next thing of course is to start creating the books so the covers interior uh, coming up with the metadata etc and I always recommend that you create your own covers and interiors but if you don't want to create your own interiors then of course you can download them from Creative Fabrica but you need a subscription and currently Creative Fabrica are offering a free trial for their all access subscription plan I do have a link to it in the description below if you want to check that out and I'm just going to wrap up this video here and once again if you want to check out the four niche validation criteria, go ahead and watch that video you should see a card on your screen right now for that video and thank you for watching